Right, so today we're going to learn how to make a flyer. A nice simple flyer that you can use for basic events. I'm going to show you the very bare minimum basics of how to do this on a skill level that's not really high. Alright, so I'm going to go here into Google and I'm going to search for large flyer. Just so I can get an example of what a flyer is supposed to look like. So I type that in. I go to images and I choose something like that. Cool, that looks pretty large. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say copy image. I'm going to open up Photoshop next. And then I'm actually going to say Command N to make a new one. It's automatically going to bring in what's in the clipboard, and I'm going to call this one Cool. Cool. So we have that. Here's the actual size of what that flyer would be. It's actually pretty big. Now I'm going to take this text tool right over here. And I'm going to click here. Real simple. I could type all my credentials in that area. So cool. Awesome. Now I was able to change the font size by selecting all this, and I can go right here. And I can also put the cursor over the T tool and stretch back and forth. Okay, pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to change my font up a little bit. I'm going to make it look like that. Cool. All right. Now, I want to make my background a certain color. So I'm going to go here to a paint tool and make sure it's paint bucket. I'm going to press Command Shift N to make another layer. Okay, you see this layer over here? I'm going to move it below cool so it doesn't cover up cool. I'm going to paint. I don't like that color. Let's go for another one. I double clicked over here and chose, let's say, like a red. Awesome. Paint again. Yay. All right, so now we have cool. I want to do something interesting with cool. So I click there, I select all of it, and I'm going to go to layer and layer style. And I can click drop shadow and all these other things you can do to your fonts. Let me move this over here so you can see what's going on. This is the shadow that I darkened up. I can spread it, I can change the size. Okay, I'm going to spread a little more. Cool. I'm going to bevel and emboss. You see how it became shiny? Pretty simple stuff. Okay, I'll move this over so I can see. Okay, so I go to images and I see what's cool. All right, so these feet look pretty cool. I'm going to actually copy these. Okay, I'm going to go back to Photoshop and I'm going to paste it. Command P. Now, most people don't want to have this whole image in there. They probably just want the feet. So I'm going to click this select tool and make sure it's on a plus sign. You see my, it go over there? Cool. I'm going to click on all this. All right. You see how smart that is? So I should select most of it. I'm also going to click this one here. Okay. So it's got most of the feet. And I'm going to press command C. Once I erase this extra part here by clicking the minus sign. All right, this isn't going to be perfect, but you can spend more time on that yourself. I'm going to take off this eyeball over here. You see where my mouse is going? Cool. I'm going to take the eyeball off, and I'm going to command paste. Now I have feet. Okay, I'm going to go to this actual select tool up here. You see where my mouse went? Right there. I'm going to move these over and put these right here. Now you see it's going in front of cool. I kind of want it behind it. So I'm going to go over here and drag it below cool. Now I can move it however I want. So it kind of looks like cool's holding the feet. Now I'm going to do a few cool things. I'm going to click this paint tool. I'm going to choose my type of brush. Okay, I'm going to make it a certain diameter. Let's find a nice little pattern here. We'll do that one. I'm just going to scribble up something. Well, let's choose a different color. Command Z. I'm going to choose like a uh, white. Okay. So I'm going to scribble, scribble, scribble. Let's do that again. Scribble, 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 scribble. All right. Now I want that to be behind the feet. So I'm going to put the scribble behind that. Let's see. As a matter of fact, I have to create a new layer because I actually drew on the same layer so I won't be able to move anything behind it so command shift then again and here we go all right let's make it a little more pleasing to the eye all right cool here we go now it's behind the feet and behind the word cool now I also would like to put something in front of that red instead of it being so plain and boring so I'm going to select an area like so. 
this like a little smaller. Doing a little bit of something. It's not going to be that great. But I'm going to paint inside of this with the color yellow. Paint. Cool. I'm going to do it under this right here. All right. So you see how that works? Nice and simple stuff. And if I want to add some more text in there, I can easily do that. I can just go like this and say, yes. I'm going to change the color of that up here to a black. Put this right here for purposes of making it look right. All right. So yes, cool yes. Now I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to select this layer here. I'm going to go to filter and change the way the feet look. So I like that. You can always choose different ones. But we're going to go with this just for simplicity. So now it's really cool. I also want to make it look like plastic. So I'm going to go to filter, artistic, and plastic. Wrap. Awesome. Let's see what that does. Cool. So you can change all these settings and do certain things. All right. So this is a basic way to make a flyer.